Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix problem with the error message. Could not sign in. An Apple ID verification code is required to sign in on your old iPhone 4. So with this uh, particular iPhone 4, it uses an old iOS system. And the problem is that you did actually put in the right username and the right password, but you still cannot log in. The, the reason is because this particular account here has uh, turned on two steps verification code. So whenever you sign in, not only you need a password, you also need another code that can be sent to your uh, mobile device or sent to your to your phone number. So um, with this um, settings, that means it, your account is more secure. So even if someone knows your password, they cannot uh, sign in. The problem is with the iPhone 4, that may it will stop you from uh, signing in using just your normal password. So you can see here with uh, this phone here, it is a trusted device. So when I sign up to an Apple ID, I also add this phone in as a trusted device. So now I can uh, simply uh, tap on uh, allow so whenever I try to sign in here uh, uh, and a trusted device will have this uh, message pops up you can see here it shows my account ID so I tap on allowed and then it comes up with a code and I need to attach this code to uh, the password field right here so I'll go back in and I'll show you how I do it so first I need to put in the account ID And I'll put in the account password. So after you put in the account password, you need to also attach this number to the end. Now sometimes this will not work, but I will show you how you can get around that. So we try signing. It may fail. It may say the password is incorrect. Sometimes it does that. Uh, if it does that, I'll show you how you can get around that. So we just wait for the for the phone to check your uh, user ID and password. It's taking some time. I just tap on OK for now. So it said cannot connect to iTunes stores, but we still not sign in. You can see for some reason it's still not the correct password. So if that's the case, you want to do this. So you first put in your Apple ID account password. Then on your other phone, you can either, either go to the website to log into iCloud or you can go to this phone, to the trusted device, go to settings and then we want to go down to password and security and then down here tap on get verification code and then a special code comes up and then we put in here so nine nine five three eight five and then tap on sign in so this code will always be, uh, be different every time you uh, tap on get verification code and uh, the code always uh, going to be different well, for, in this case it is the same but um, if I go back I tried before and it's, it's always going to give me a different code so you can see it's giving me another code now okay so now that I have uh, successfully signed in once you can uh, once you sign in you can tap on here and view some information such as how tap on Apple ID you can sign out, use the I forgot, or cancel. So that's how you can sign into your iCloud or iTunes. It's the same thing. So um, if you sign into iCloud, you do the same thing. You use the same password, and then you attach that special code that they appears on the other phone, and then you can sign in. And that's how you can fix the problems. I uh, hope this helps you. If you are stuck on your iPhone 4 or 4S and you cannot sign in, then you can use that particular method or this particular particular method to sign to your phone. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.